Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run. The run where we're trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with rookies only. Oh yeah, you heard that right, rookies only. Because sometimes it is not about how hard of a punch you can uh, throw, but rather about how much you can take and still get up. And that's really the motto of our rookies. It is Operation Gilded Corpse. Uh, difficulty easy peasy and we got to get an engineer the problem here is it's a sabotage transmitter uh, mission which is the opposite of easy peasy specifically if you only have four rookies no multi-shot and nothing else luckily we do have the dlc weapon so roby here is going to be equipped with that and jeranx has received a weapon upgrade he's going to rock that improved hair trigger Everybody else is just having standard weapons and by default standard grenades. So that is all we have. On a up on the upside, I was thinking about since it's rookies only, I can miss mit, uh, match and um, and switch whatever I want. Every single team that I will bring to the table will be just as efficient as the other one, and that's the really fun part about rookies only. Gotta see and take the upsides of your composition. Let's jump into it and take a look whether or not this mission is actually going to be easy. Okay, we're jumping right into the mission. That uh, transmitter is over here and it has a couple of relays. We gotta be careful. Problem with those transmitter missions is there is an enormous time pressure behind them. So this is not going to be fun. Although we got some high ground here, which I want to exploit for us. Already see a few transmitters, which is great. Okay, let's charge in as far as we can. Very good, so far so good. We got two of them inside. Moving to designated position. Enemy patrol on the move. And we got a pack of enemies. Even better. Headed there now. Can't fully get into cover. Uh, that is aggravating, but we can get over here and we could get over here, right? Right. So this year, it could be a shot. Well, the, in a perfect world, we would try to assassinate all three of them with a grenade, but we got to deal with what we have. So that's Overwatch for now. Jeranx here has the hair trigger, so he's going to be the one that is taking the actual shot. And let's take a second Overwatch. Roby will be the final judge uh, to be able to hit someone who might have been injured. There we go. A nice hit. And a very nice utilization of concealment. Fortunately, that sector is still in cover. Yeah, and we got double pull cover. Not good. I don't like it. In a perfect world, I would move forward, throw the grenade, remove the cover, and hit uh, the transmitter. We gotta keep that timer well in check, so I want to shoot 50-50s if we can help it. Oh no.
Oh no. It's getting worse. Okay, we gotta deal with the sector next. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, look at that. Well, this could uh, prove to be useful. We position ourselves over here. That'll be full cover, with the exception of this guy over there. So, moving down. This also gives us cover against the other flank. And this here should remove cover and explode the cylinder and with the explosion deal extra damage, which in return should kill him. All right, I love it when a plan works. On the flip side, I would love love it if this guy would just die because he's currently posing a real threat to us. Let's see. I mean, we got a 70% chance to hit him. I think we're going to take that. Okay, that was the right decision. Good job, Roby. Buster moves in, flanking uh, the trooper down here. And now we're starting to slowly but surely clean up the mess. There's another high ground flank over here. I was hoping for crit. I genuinely was hoping for a crit. Come on, shoot him again or shoot one of uh, those transmitters. Damn it. We got two rounds. This removes cover. Roby comes in for a cleaning. 100%, that's exactly what I wanted to see. That breaks the... That breaks the um, the panic over here, as you can see. We got a data cache, that's great. And I want to buy us more time. One down. And a second one down. We'll keep Jurangs a bit in the background. For now, we're fine. We still got time. Reloading. Good. Russ needs to reload. And then begins to move in. We got to push on. Oh, yeah. 
Drangs continues to take these uh, things out. And we're charging to the front with Bastard as fast as possible. More enemies incoming soon, I would suspect. Let's start moving up. Okay, so far so good. Moving all the way over there. And then that. And that. And that. We will take our chances with the high ground here. Very likely that there is a team downstairs. Dranks moves into position. No, it was actually bastard. Okay, at least some of them are flankable. Obi still has a grenade. We got one over here as well. Ras moves forward, and that would be a 100% kill. Thanks to the explosion slash falling damage. Always take the 100% kill. Reason not to. Roby moves up. That was a satisfying crit. Very satisfying. Moving up with Jarangs. And that could be a kill for the officer. There we go. Aggressively moving in. Very, very good. Still a 70% chance. Oh, boy. We're not picking up any other contact. Get those charges deployed. But we're almost out of ammunition, but the continuous reloading has paid off. I'm ready. There now. Come get some. Got it covered. Good. And that's potentially the end of it, right? Very good. Yeah, not flawless, but still okay. I would say uh, above average. Good. Everybody did a solid job on this run. I like the performance. I specifically like the old world rifle with a plus a 10 to hit. We got to look out for scopes because they will be helpful for us. Very helpful. We got an alien data cache that is also decent loot because it'll allow us to get intel and with intel and the black market we might be able to purchase something and we got ourselves an engineer even better definitely bond the soldiers no we don't want any bond uh, picture instead what we want is an excavation right there that gives us additional supplies and the opportunity to build something else. So we got our first bond, which is great. Russ and Bastard appear to like one another. So that means we got a bit of leeway with those bonds. Okay, that's the black side. There's another engineer. Oh yeah, we're going to get that extra engineer, baby. We're so going to get that extra engineer. Only the beginning, Commander. Your leadership will be a beacon to 
That's an above average drop. It's a good one. We're still short on the scientists, which might become a problem a bit later, but for now, I'm happy about the engineers. We got the infirmary, which is good, and we could theoretically do the officer for uh, for proving grounds. Hmm. I am thinking proving grounds is legit helpful. Experimental weapons can be helpful as well. Magnetic weapon still takes way too long. This here allows PCSs, but not useful for us now. I think we're going for the officer. Hmm, I think we're going for the officer. Because it opens proving grounds and I want to build proving grounds relatively early in this run. It's one of uh, those buildings which will help us a lot. I could uh, see us turning a few um, Elarium cores into ammunition. I could definitely see us building some heavier armor. Maybe some grappling uh, suit for some quote-unquote sniper mobile action. Just something that will allow us to give us more flexibility. Every single extra trait that we could uh, get is heaven sent because the rookies will not have it, right? Experimental weapons definitely offers a few options. The axe, less so because we can't use melee sidearms. The frost grenade, arguably yes, but in a very, very small radius, so not as good as if being used by a grenadier. Funnily enough, the bolt cast I could see uh, can turn into something meaningful. Good. Evan Officer it is, and yeah, we're clearing debris. Okay, there's definitely going to be a terror mission soon-ish. And we got another engineer. For now, that's good. It will allow us to excavate even further and faster. That's our income for the first month, those uh, bits of debris. And we can build, hopefully, two more buildings, because we will need every little bit of help that we could get. Including supplies. Now, at the beginning, whilst we cannot expand, supplies are still meaningful for us. Cool, what do we have? Side trips. Holy moly! Apparently the mod does not fully work. It offers a... well, maybe it can't because it always offers classes, right? <laughs> Ronan Murphy! That is inappropriate, Murphy! He's not available in this run. He's an inappropriate sharpshooter sitting in... in... Uh, the... Avenger telling jokes, making everybody a bit uncomfortable. But yeah, we're going to rescue him anyways. Because fuck it, why not? He's inappropriate Murphy. We do have uh, 100 intel, which is great, and a scientist, which is potentially the one that we, uh, the, the best benefit that we could get out of here. And we only have to deal with a loss, so that should be relatively straightforward, to be honest. Looking at the rest, we're halfway done with clearing the debris. We got a good research start albeit a, s a slow one we are going to get faster the moment that we can kick off that laboratory and in terms of other build order i mean we still have power right so we can build two further buildings i would um, think it's not too much of a stretch if we're going for uh, the proving grounds and are we going for infirmary do we really need it potentially not it, it really doesn't matter how long people are out because we just have a deeper roster and we'll just bring other rookies right so infirmary not as great and it does not offer much benefit resistance ring maybe 
maybe we could do at least a couple of extra missions right here and there getting some aim bonus maybe an extra hit point you know a bit of progression for some of the characters wouldn't be too bad huh? maybe we'll we'll build a few characters that specialize one that really can hit very well another one that is a quote-unquote tank well it's all going to be on a very low level i can tell you that much mm. other than that gts not helpful workshop not helpful at this point um training facility arguably yes because you can upgrade the bonds if necessary but building a building just for that that's a hard sell i think proving ground by far is the best and later maybe later the infirmary will also be good but yeah proving ground and potentially the resistance ring just to get some extra sort of income so that's it that's my thoughts uh, so far i mean it's uh the run has just started right but if you are as hyped as i am to punch above our weight class and really try to wrestle down the game on the highest difficulty with rookies only then leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the last mission i would like to hear your opinion see you in the next episode and bye bye